Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to another episode of Gordian Quest. I was thinking, you know, it might seem like all of our characters have died, perhaps out of inadequacies, perhaps other things, but really, I decided subconsciously to give the viewer, you, a tour of all of the character classes. And in the end, I decided that the, the team that I actually wanted to play was the team that we had brought out in Act 1. And so there we are. We're back, back where we started. And, you know, it was in service to the people. That's all I have to say about that. Let's go and get into the easiest fight we can find, please. <laughs> no dawdling here. No dawdling. Yeah, we're not... <laughs> Hmm, yeah, things are things are not great. You're gonna smack me and apply four bleed? Jesus. Vigilant attack and more bleed. You do do a six guard now. Um, I might as well block everything. And I, I don't like the bleed guy here. Yeah, we're gonna need to dodge probably end parry. Uh, first, actually pummel strike is just the most damage we can get off. And uh, yeah, we'll parry as well. The bleed's gonna kind of suck, right? Eh, no doubt about it. Okay, fork thought. What do we got here? I guess I'll just take the flaming grasp. It's pretty unfortunate we're not gonna be able to kill you. Doesn't make much sense. Yeah, you can steal the item, that's fine. We're still going to take a bunch of bleed here. Do you not take the bleed if it doesn't go through your armor? Well, that's a kind of a newish thing. And it's somewhat interesting to me. Good to know. 10 damage, 10 damage. You guys are going to you guys are going to hit for a lot. He managed to keep the 5 armor because of items that you have, Lucius. That I can't recall. Let me go back to the character, please. Um, yeah, obviously we can we can just get the kill on you. None of you guys are bleeding or anything. I guess we just do the holy force and get the kill. Actually. It was an ally in your row, was it? An ally in your row. I thought it was allies. This is the kind of shit that we can't be doing. Okay, we got one repost, which is nice. I was looking to block a small amount of damage. I mean... Just prevent as much as you can. Yeah, you might as well mana charge yourself. So probably the shocking touch would have been better. Ah, potent means it ignores guard. Okay, I actually did not really get that. That's what potent does. Avert and block. We do take a small amount of damage. It's okay. You've got a little bit of that old warrior divinity situation going on. Which, yeah, you might as well use. Eight damage for the kill. Um, I guess just move down here. Uh, Twelve and eight, or seventeen, or twelve and, twelve and eight? Yeah, this is better. 
More and more damage done. You're just attacking straight ahead. You get your regen. Did you get your regen? We'll pop that off. Ooh, uh, a keen strike. Nice. Parry for 12. And just kill you. Not... Oh, we have to move you. Okay, doesn't matter. You're dead. It's not a lot of experience. It's true. Ooh, storm touch. Magic missile. Increased intelligence. One crit. Extra HP. What you got, buddy boy? No glove. Um, it's a worse glove. We'll we'll take it. We'll take it for sure. That gives you might. Eh, yeah, no. Uh Huh. Does the keyboard not work? Is my does my keyboard not work here? It does. Strange. Apparently escape is not an input in this. Um 4x storm spirit area drops a rare accessory. No risk no gain. I gotta pay attention to my supplies as well, actually. Um, I see no reason to not just start off with the Warrior of Divinity here. I mean, you're attacking nothing. You're good and critical. You're gonna apply three shock to targets, are you? Let's pop off on you. We can just attack. Uh, okay, we'll just attack again. And yeah, whatever. We'll put the shield up. Show of force is nice. Um, shift one forward. Deal 16 damage. Uh, let's just kill one of you. That was a very dramatic situation. You're not attacking me. You guys are going to shock the crap out of us. But no damage done. Next time it's going to hurt, though. Uh, Forked Thought. I guess I take this. Hmm. Yeah. I'm happy to open up with that. You don't, you don't die. You can do the shock, that's fine. Can't actually... Okay. Fine. I should have done the shocking touch. Does it chain? It doesn't chain. Keep my eyes open for the big damage. Paralyze, huh? Holy Forest, Falament, an ally in your lane. Don't mind if I do. Blessed Strike. Um, I guess we hit you there. You're dead. One, two. And we can kill. That was not bad. That was pretty easy. And we get, ooh, what? Okay, we get basic throwing daggers. We get Ezric's Compulsion, a legendary amulet, bringer of the flame, four critical when you apply burn, fire resistance, and intelligence. When you gain channel, a random flaming grasp in your hands costs zero for the rest of battle. Why not? And a Loath Talisman grants mana charge, two maximum HP, 6% cold resist, and... Wear medium armor with mend, like the healing, plus the extra guard. This one strength can retain one, or magic dust. I think we're going to take the armor. Yeah, just take all. That's pretty nice. You don't have armor. What are you wearing? Just your basic reinforce. I might give that to him. To her because she can heal and usually can heal herself 
pretty well. Um, does she have until I mean, he actually, yeah. Okay, we're doing this. Bob. Bob. Obviously, you should get the bringer of flame here. <sighs> Maximum HP. I mean, the mana charge is probably not really interesting on anyone. So I think we shall refrain. And I can't hit the escape button. Okay. We got 12 supplies. Twelve supplies. Let's go back down here and see what we got. Okay. Okay. Are y'all named? I wish I could see. Just a spirit mystic, fire spirit, your basic storm spirit, your basic storm spirit. Okay. We can deal with that. And again, probably just having, I mean, whatever, we don't get the crit. But getting this much movement early on, I think is well worth it. Very defensive beginning here. And not a single person is attacking. You're going to drop a fire bomb there, are ya? Uh, well, I mean, you can give him the immunity aura. We'll bash you once, and I guess we shield block for lack of anything else. Three agility. That's pretty good. Um, since someone is actually attacking, there's a parry, which we don't need. Let's just start swinging at people. You're attacking the old man. Yep, the shock. Okay, it's fine. Not the most interesting. Yeah, cool. You can you can be very defended. I should have moved him. Should have moved him. Okay, what do we got? Paralyze, you're gonna discard three dex cards, she doesn't have any. Gain critical, three shock, four drained. Don't actually remember what that does. And ten damage and three burn. Okay, she's taking the only she's taking a lot of direct hits. I guess we're just gonna start smacking people. You're all the way in the back now. But you're only taking the one. And I realize if we had blocked that, mm, we might have been a little bit better off. You're kind of the scariest situation here. If I can uh, kill you, which I can and I'm very happy about. Fire shard to kill you. Beautiful. How much does this blow up for? Seven? And I can tell you where to go. You can go there. Done. You just sharpen. That's fine. You shock me. That's also fine. You are going to drain. Well, why don't we just blow you up? Um, were we bleeding? Oh, the firebomb actually hit everyone. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure, you're going to attack me for a bunch of damage. But you're almost certainly going to die first, so. I can move here and clean you up with the keen strike. We took some hits. Firebomb 
I gotta pay more attention than that. We know we do. We know we do. We can't be making those kinds of mistakes. Six supplies to return home. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, oh, I've got a thing on which I need to turn off so we don't hear that annoying sound. Uh, don't exit OBS, please. There we go. Okay, we got some named here, Drifter and a Nomad. I think it's fine. I think it's gonna be fine. Hesitate. Again, three vulnerable when an ally of the same race dies. You're gonna steal and then deal nine. You're gonna gain armor and critical. You're gonna steal and you're gonna hit for seven. Um, tough here. We'll still take some damage, which is okay. I don't need the heal. Let's uh, start beating you down. You could block everything. And I can even shift you up here. And then parry, parry. Why do you have only plus eight now? I guess we do this. Shocking touch. We already had max channel. Gets absorbed. Yeah, steal the item. It's pretty crap. I know, I know. Two damage. Oof! He's guarded up with the crit. He's gonna swing now, yeah? And he moves behind. Fortunately, she's all alone down here. Do I want her to actually absorb all those hits? She can put up 14 defense. Just start murdering people. Probably could have done this a different way. Whatever, put up all the defense there. You have the repost, which is really, really nice. Who's the first one that's going? You, with your seven strike. Pretty sad situation. Get the opener. Free parry. And another parry. You're gonna take some damage, but it's the best we could do there. Have you gain channel? Well, that is nice. Thank you. And yeah, we'll put the put the fires out. Double slash, yeah. Taking some damage there. And the 17 damage because he stole an item. He stole an item. Well, we can kill you. You're gonna gain the crit. You're just dealing all that damage. I'll give you immunity aura. Frankly, just move up here. We gotta kill this guy. Hey, mend. That's nice. Okay, we did kill the guy. Double strike. With the swift. Yeah, okay. Take one poison. Okay. 
40 damage, targets in a square, plus three for each burn on the target. I have more flaming grasps. I can do that and then blow things up. All that work and it only does a little bit more damage than explosive shot. It's got channel, sure, but still. Still, he's actually in the lead now. Oh, that makes sense. Um, mana charge. Mm. Not super interesting to me. Um, hmm. I guess we just do, I mean, I don't know. What do you save it for? When, when is a good time? I guess we're pretty close to home. Four guard every turn, huh? We could just camp four supplies and then we don't really have enough to get back, do we? Hmm. I think we're just gonna kind of swoop down here and then we just go back home and then potentially maybe it's time to do something like this. It's level seven, which is probably too much for us. Maybe we can come here. Why don't we actually just come here now? Let's descend. We can always leave dangerous territory. Don't let our guard down. Level seven, deadly encounter. Hars and Har archers, a treasure, huh? This way, please. Ghoul charm, one ice shard, plus one spell damage. Master one attack card in your hand on start and ice shard. Channeled spell, 17 damage applied to chill. Thank you, yes please, that's amazing. You can modify shrines. Thank you, yes please. Um, again, we're just not gonna do anything with these. Uh, yeah, we could use it, it's an exit, a deadly encounter, a horde encounter, level seven, increased gold, area drops one more item, it's just a normal horde, let's go down here, we'll get a level up from this. Oh, but we're actually out of time, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next time, we're going to take on some named skeleton archers. First time encountering the undead. First time. I don't know why I said that. Like, I'm uh, 1990s, 2000s radios. First time capturing the undead. Whoa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.